So if you're expecting me to go through this list and be like a positive attitude or new ideas, an open mind, um, that's not this kind of video. So today I am literally going to be going through a list of all of the really obscure things that I think are really important to bring to college or that I and my friends wish we had brought with us when we first entered college. This will definitely be skewed to a more California slash Berkeley college experience because of course I'm Seneca and I am a rising senior at UC Berkeley so I'm just going off my own and my friends experience here but I think that a lot of these are actually great things to bring with you to any college regardless of what country or state or what sort of experience you have. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Seneca and as I just mentioned, I'm a rising senior at UC Berkeley so I've had a few years of experience of college in person to kind of formulate this list and also of course had the pandemic experience TM <laughs> so I definitely have a bit of experience as far as knowing things that I wish that I had brought and things that I will definitely be prioritizing to take back to campus this fall definitely subscribe to my channel down below and give this video a like if you want to see more college prep videos or back to school videos coming up obviously it's a very exciting time of year and I always love seeing these kinds of videos pop up so hopefully you enjoy them also I just want to mention that all the things on the this list are definitely optional to bring to college. I know that everyone is in different positions and there's really no perfect formula to what to bring with you to be successful. These are all just my recommendations of things that I and my friends found useful for our first years of college and that I wanted to share. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna get right into it. So the first thing that I wish I had brought to college and that has proved especially useful during the pandemic is this picnic blanket. So I highly recommend bringing a picnic blanket. This might just be a California thing, but basically this has saved my life so many times when we're having picnics on the Glade, which is that central green space on UC Berkeley's campus, or even in San Francisco, or just hanging out with friends randomly. This one's especially cool because it's actually waterproof on the inside. So this is a plastic coated fleece plaid blanket and it also has this fun carrying strap so this has been really useful for me the past year just because obviously i've been meeting a lot of people outside more so than i did in the past plus it's really nice to have this waterproof version just because i feel like everywhere i go in berkeley and san francisco anywhere in the bay area the grass is just wet and you don't want to get up and look like you peed your pants so that thing has saved me so many times when i'm just out and about and this one kind of goes along with bringing a picnic blanket if you are planning on spending time outside or even having get-togethers inside, going on hikes, doing things with your friends, and you want to have a constant soundtrack to those fun activities, bring a portable speaker to college. This one is definitely not very obscure and I think a lot of people mention it, but it's for good reason. I personally don't have a personal speaker, but pretty much all of my friends do and it is a great thing just to have if you're ever you know, outdoors playing sports with friends and you wanna to listen to music or you're having a get together, it's just great to be able to have something that people can connect to via Bluetooth and like pass the aux, but Gen Z version. <laughs> um, so highly, highly recommend either buying a portable speaker if you're able to, or coordinating with your roommates if one of them has one that you can use in the occasion that you have some sort of social event. So this next thing is something that I, as an oblivious older child, did not bring to college with me, but that is pretty essential to bring, especially as we are hopefully coming out of the pandemic and social events start to occur more, and that is a pair of old dirty sneakers that you don't mind getting dirty. So I have left mine in Berkeley. Essentially, these are really going to be great for when you're going out with your friends and there might be things spilling or you might be, you know, just in a little bit of a messy situation. These are really great to have because they're shoes that you don't care about. They're probably shoes that you've been wearing for a long time and you were gonna throw out anyway. At least at Berkeley, nobody really wears like heels or fancy shoes or really fancy clothes to go out. So I would just say to bring a pair of comfortable, old, kind of messy, on the verge of throwing away sneakers and you'll be fine. So the next one is one that I think everyone brings to college or many people bring to college, but a lot of people forgot to put this on packing lists and that is Advil or Tylenol or you know cough medicine. 
These are things that you're not gonna wanna go out and buy from Walgreens while you're sick. It's really important just to have it from the get-go because freshman fall, I think that everyone in my building got sick. At one point, I got food poisoning once, which was just not fun to deal with while you're all on your own, living that independent lifestyle, but without access to, you know, maybe a medicine cabinet or something. So definitely have at least the basics, allergy meds if you need them, and I promise you, you will thank yourself later. <laughs> so kind of going along with the theme of making sure that you're ready to get sick in college, if you're someone who gets cramps often, bring a heating pad. I promise you, you will thank yourself later. I have one of those little like rice pouches that you heat up in the microwave and then you use it like a heating pad and that works as well. Just it is something that does not stop when you get to college, unfortunately, and so it's just nice to be able to have a heating pad so that you can quell those period cramps or if you get muscle cramps, stomach cramps. I promise this is something that has saved me so much grief over the past three years and people don't talk about it when they're making packing lists. And the next thing is some sort of sport backpack or travel backpack kind of thing. And this is something that would be great if you plan on doing a lot of hiking in college, like day hikes, or even if you plan on visiting your local area and kind of exploring, this is something that's really great to have because then you can be the friend that always has sunscreen, your phone, a portable charger, all of that kind of stuff. So. This is the one that I have. This is just from Amazon and it has definitely accompanied me on many trips throughout the Bay Area, lots of hiking. It's great because I can fit a windbreaker, a portable charger, my phone, Advil if I need it, and it still has held up so well after three years of use. It can also actually collapse into a tiny pouch that I keep in my purse. So highly recommend getting some sort of sport backpack or bringing one or something that will work to function while you're out and about exploring your new area. Okay, so this one is a lot less obscure. Some people probably do mention this a lot, but especially if you are going to Berkeley in the fall or somewhere that you know has communal bathrooms with lockers, bring a combination lock, maybe even two if you're planning on going to the gym and you want to lock your stuff up while you're taking classes or working out. So at Berkeley, all of the students in the units and I believe also in Clark Kerr and probably the other dorms as well have bathrooms with lockers in them so that you don't have to bring your shower caddy to and from the bathroom every time you wanna brush your teeth or if you're taking a shower. So this is a great option because then you can obviously leave all that stuff in the bathroom, but it's important to lock that stuff up because you never know who's gonna be poking through your locker. People go crazy in college, so definitely important to have like a combination lock or something along those lines to keep your stuff safe. Along that same line of thought and something that I saw somebody on YouTube mention when I was coming into college is if you do know that your bathroom in college is going to have lockers, don't buy a plastic shower caddy that is one of the rigid ones. You're gonna want one that is more like this and that is kind of just a mesh one that will fit into any place you try to wedge it because a lot of those lockers are not very large. Some of them may be odd shapes and so it's nice just to have something where it's flexible if you need to move things around a lot, you can. So definitely recommend buying one of the more mesh type shower caddies over one of the hard plastic ones. So the next thing that I thought I would mention is just to bring some form of Tupperware, even if you do have a meal plan provided by your university like I had my freshman year. I highly recommend having Tupperware to sneak home food from the dining hall or if you do cook for yourself to store food in because sometimes you might be studying late, you might want a snack and that is a very easy way to be able to use up all your food while still not having to leave your room. And finally, because you all stuck around for so long into the video, here's the list of super essential items that might not be as obscure, but you absolutely need to bring to college in no particular order and very quickly. So number one, don't forget to bring some sort of medical kit or first aid kit if you can. Maybe things like band-aids, neosporin, cough drops, as previously mentioned, and all of that. You're also going to want to bring at least one or two surge strips, which is those giant things with tons of electrical outlets or extension cords. These are especially useful for dorms that might be a slightly more aged because I guarantee that there will not be a lot of outlets in your room. And this definitely saved my life freshman year. 
Also super essential, don't forget to bring a pair of good walking shoes, especially if you're going to a campus that is not very bikeable or commutable like Berkeley, you're going to be walking probably upwards of 10,000 steps a day. So it's very important to wear shoes that are not going to hurt your feet, give you blisters, etc. And so that is my list of slightly obscure things that I am super glad that I brought to college or things that I wish I had known to bring freshman year. I think that going back to school in person this fall, this could be really useful especially if you are going to school somewhere similar to California or if you are going to UC Berkeley, go Bears. Comment down below if there's anything that you want to add to this list. I think that I definitely missed quite a lot, so it'd be fun to hear what other people consider essentials for bringing to college. Don't forget to like this video for more like this and more back to school content coming very, very soon. And also subscribe to my channel if you want to see all of those things coming up in the future. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see more casual life updates and what is going on in my day today and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!